All right, everybody, back here with a quick uh, tutorial on the QU16 uh, on getting a better gain in OBS specifically. Be getting a few questions of, of how you can get a better gain. Lots of different ways of going about doing this, whether it's preamps or settings in OBS or, or settings on the Allen and Heath. I'll show you just a quick thing of what I'm doing with this uh, microphone here. Just to show you, I am using the Shure PG48. And uh, just to show you, this is, let me get rid of this for a second. This is uh, on Amazon, $34. I think I might have paid $49 about 20 years ago when I when I first uh, uh, bought this uh, uh, microphone, but it's not an expensive microphone, dynamic microphone, um, you know, nothing special. And uh, so I have it set up just directly to my, to the board. I don't know if you can see that my gain is set at around 40. I know there's a little bit of a glare. Sorry about that, but it's uh, set around 40. Here's what my board looks like. I'm in channel two. My left right is at Unity, and channel two is up at Unity. And uh, hopefully you can see, go back to OBS here, and you can see what my meters are. So it's not all that great. Let me bring this over, minimize that, and let me just bring the audio mixer in so you can see that just a little bit better. All right. So, because we're only dealing with the audio. So, a couple ways of going about it. One way, right click on your source here, which is the QU16. If you don't know how to set all this up, I did a video on doing the desktop audio and the setting up your QU16. I won't go over all of that, but uh, I have a video showing how to do that. So, you right click on it, click on filters, and one of the filters that's going to come up. Let me bring this over so that you can see it. I'll bring this both here so that you can see what's going on. So we're going to audio filters is here. We're going to click on this and let's give it a little more gain. So we're going to just going to call a gain. You can call it whatever you want. So right now we're at zero dB. You can see how much we're getting around 30 uh, minus 30 uh, decibels around here. So you want it to be usually like around negative 18 minus 18 around there. So we'll bring it up give it a little bit more here and you can see and you can probably hear already what's happening with my levels it's coming up to around 18 let's make the gain around there and so there you go it's it's all of a sudden you can hear the levels are a lot better they're a lot hotter and all i did was just adjust the gain within um obs my levels are still at uh 40 on the qu16 let me show you that Again, I know there's a there's a glare, difficult to see, but that's where it is, and so that's uh, one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is using something like a cloud lifter. Um, this gives you 25 decibels, so instead of boosting it 16 decibels on OBS, you can uh, do that with the the cloud lifter. So uh, I'm gonna do it through the cloud lifter, and let's see what what the difference is. So give me one second while I set that up. All right, so we're back and we're on my um, audio for my phone because I don't have it quite set up yet. I wanted to show you how I how I did it. So we're on the microphone here into the cloud lifter. Again, dynamic microphone to use for the cloud lifters. If you have a condenser microphone, we're going to have to go with another type of, of preamp. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But dynamic microphone going through to the preamp, uh, to uh, the cloud lifter, out to the cloud lifter, and this is going to uh, channel two, right? And now with using the, the cloud lifter, you have to engage phantom power on your QU16. So let's engage phantom power by holding down till it turns red. And now you have phantom power, okay? So now I'm gonna use the microphone. Check two. way way too loud
So now I'm changing it to about 20 on uh, the QU17 or 22. Let's see, give it a little bit more. All right, so I'm about 12 o'clock or like around 30 decibels or 29 to be exact on the QU16. And uh, let's get rid of this over here. I'm gonna just remove it. Yes. And you can see my levels are not that, it's getting up to like around negative 18, which is about where you want it to be. So all I did was go through this cloud lifter and it boosted it tremendously. Now, if you have a um, condenser microphone, CloudLift is not gonna work for you. Let's get rid of this for a second. And you're gonna need a different type of preamp. Let's go here. So you go to Sweetwater, I mean, any music store will do, right? You go to Sweetwater, click in preamps, and on the side here, you can uh, set up how you, you want, um, you want your filter to be so we'll go down and you go to phantom power so then you click that you only want to see ones with phantom power and then you can go from low to high you don't have to go crazy with any of this and you have ones that are pretty 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 good that's here for under a hundred bucks, you know, around a hundred bucks. Um, you don't have to go crazy with, with any sort of really expensive preamps. I mean, you can, God bless you if you want, but remember on the QU16, we have EQ, we have a high pass filter, we have uh, gates and compression. I don't even talk about using uh, compression on the QU16. You could even do it that way to increase your, your volume. I mean, there's a lot of different ways of increasing your gain so that you're able to, to get a little bit of a cleaner sound. Normally for me, I think a preamp is the way to go. Uh, and it's going to require a little bit of extra money, but you don't have to spend a whole bunch, right? Depending on the type of equipment that you have, you don't have to go crazy and, and spend a lot of money. Okay. So, uh, I hope that this helps in getting you a little bit of a better sound, a little bit of a better gain. And again, I'm using a, using a $34 microphone and, uh, let me tell you, it's, it's not too bad. All right. I use this as a spare thing. Sometimes if I'm doing a zoom call and I don't want to set up my, my, uh, SM7B over here. You know, I have this on my arm and what if I'm doing like a pro thing and, and I need like a voiceover thing or if I'm really worried about the sound, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go through my, my normal preamps and do all that stuff. But if I'm just doing a quick Zoom call, I might just throw on the, the old, the old uh, PG48 uh, here and uh, do a, doesn't, do, doesn't do a bad job. Okay, guys, hope this all helps and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.